Grabbing those packaged snacks and meals is quick and convenient, but it also may come at a cost. Many of these foods are ultra processed. Five on your side's Kelly Arthur shares how you can cut down on ultra processed foods. Among the most harmful of processed foods are sugary sodas, energy drinks, sweet coffee drinks, or cocktails. Cutting back on those can go a long way in improving your overall health. Prepackaged foods are a staple for most of us. 60% of the average American diet is made up of ultra-processed foods, or UPFs. What makes something ultra-processed? Amy Keating is a nutritionist at Consumer Reports. It can be confusing because so many foods fall under the ultra-processed foods umbrella. But what we're talking about are industrial manufactured foods like chips, packaged cookies, and drinks that are high in added sugar and sodium and often contain a long list of chemical ingredients. UPFs also tend to pack a lot of calories in a small amount of food, making them easier to eat and overeat. This can lead to weight gain and an increased risk of diabetes. Even healthy sounding products like deli turkey and packaged wheat bread can be heavily processed with many additives and too much sugar and sodium. Your best bet is to eat more whole foods, but you can't avoid all packaged foods, so choose the ones that are processed as little as possible. There are plenty of processed foods you can feel good about eating. Canned fish, such as tuna, salmon, and sardines, are a budget-friendly way to get protein. Also, pre-cooked soups and whole grains can save you significant time in the kitchen. Just make sure to check the sodium counts. Keely Arthur, Five on Your Side.